Yes, it started in 41, uh, December 7th, yeah. What was life back home? Were you always kind of on edge, maybe being drafted? Well, uh, it was it was kind of tough during the war. That, of course, everybody got into it. They had the uh, gas rationing and, and there were meat rationing. And uh, every, everybody kind of, with the war effort, people worked in defense plants. And, uh, I don't know exactly. Pop Pop was working for. He was driving a truck. And, yeah. Did uh Did you guys have any victory gardens back home? Do what? What do you mean? Uh, the victory gardens. It was you know a lot of people were kind of raising. The, they had their gardens in the back. Oh. That way they had to buy less. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, we always had well, gardens. We yeah. always had gardens. And I lived on the bluff road. My mom, my mom, and dad had always had gardens okay. too. We always had gardens. So it's almost like you had a victory garden without yeah, even knowing it. That's a lot right. of people in time were just growing them. That way they could help the soldiers overseas. A, a garden was a necessity for us for, for many years. I mean, from from all for as long as I can remember, really? we always had a big garden. Mom did a lot of canning, yeah. and we had a lot of had a lot of fresh vegetables during the year. And of course, when the, when the weather was good enough to have a garden. You guys got a garden right now by any no. chance? No. Back there? <laughs> or you're getting too old. <laughs> Do anything. <laughs> you know, before I went into the service, we had, we our parish priest at uh, at St. John's Gilda House said, now when you go into the service, it can either make a man of you or a bum. He says, it's up to you. <laughs> and depending on what kind of choices you made. Right. Mm -hmm. um, 